The name's Putnam. Austin Putnam. What do you say about a man like that? Three months ago, you lost the drive containing the identity of every agent embedded in terrorist organizations across the globe. 007 reporting for duty. Where the hell have you been? Enjoying death. I only have one question. Why not stay dead? There's no shame in saying you've lost a step. They weren't targeting her. They wanted her to see it. Welcome to the new MI6. I'm your quartermaster. You must be joking. Author PPKS 9mm. Skyfall. So Skyfall begins with Bond on a mission trying to recover a stolen hard drive from a recently killed MI6 agent along with accomplice. However, the mission goes awry as Bond is actually shot in the shoulder. So presumed to be killed, Bond is missing in action, and things for the MI6 haven't go so well with the most recent thing being a cyber terrorist attack on the MI6 building which resulted in getting it blown up. Unexpectedly, Bond returns to accept the mission of trying to find the cyber terrorist who turns out to be Raul Silva. So as Bond is on this mission, he starts to question his loyalty to M and starts to question M herself. So you guys know, I'm a huge, huge Bond fan. And as you guys know, the last video I uploaded was my top five favorite Bond films. I have been really looking forward to Skyfall. Okay, so first of all, I have to get this out of my chest. Daniel Craig, in my opinion, has surpassed Sean Connery as the best James Bond. With Sean Connery, he played the more suave, sleek, and sex-obsessed James Bond. While Daniel Craig not only plays the cold, raw, and savage James Bond so excellently, he can also pull off that Bond look where he goes like, Martini, shaken, not stood. And he pulls it off very, very well. The plot of the film is very, very well done. Honestly, I don't want to go into it any further, but let me just say this. There are lots of unexpected twists and turns in this film that I will not expect, I can assure you that. Javier Bardem as Silva, my god. He was incredible in this movie. There's no other words I can say to describe his performance. Silva is pretty much the best Bond villain I have seen on screen, I would say either since Alton Villain in GoldenEye or Goldfinger in Goldfinger. He just has that look to him in his dialogue, how he says it, the way he presents himself, makes him terrifying. And he is one of the most memorable Bond villains yet. The action sequences are absolutely phenomenal to watch. The way how they are shot, Skyfall is such a beautiful looking movie. From all the establishing shots, the close-ups, to the wide shots, it immerses you from the opening shot of the film. This film better get a cinematography nomination at the Academy Awards next year, I swear to God, it better. The direction by Sam Mendes is excellent. I have not seen a single Sam Mendes film, but all I know is that Sam Mendes is known for his character-driven films, and he applies that end to Skyfall. When the film isn't in an action sequence, the character-driven performances alone will suck you into the movie, especially when you see Bond and Silva just talking to each other, because it looks like two juggernauts just facing off each other. The intro sequence by Adele was perfect. I know I'm probably gonna lie to you from saying that, but I'm not even kidding. Adele's theme song for Skyfall was perfect. It gave me the chills watching it. And there were some images in the intro sequence that literally were haunting for me to even look at. Skyfall still shows Bond as the darker and savage person that we saw in Casino Royale, but it also shows Bond as what we used to love as well in the classic James Bond films like Dr. No, Goldfinger, all those great Bond films out there. It has some truly great homages. The score as well is excellent. Those two and a half hours just went by just like that. Overall, Skyfall is one of the best Bond films out there. Daniel Craig surpasses Sean Connery as the best Bond. Javier Bardem is one of the best Bond villains ever. The action sequences are amazing. Sam Mendes does a terrific job of directing. It's shot beautifully and it is definitely 
one of my favorite films of the year. I'm gonna give Skyfall a five out of five stars. So comment down, let me know below of who you would think would be a great choice to direct the next Bond film besides Christopher Nolan. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, seriously, do it. Do it. Do it.